Welcome to Module 17. Today we'll learn about Discrete Trial Teaching, or DTT, one of the most effective strategies for teaching new skills quickly and effectively. Let's dive in. Discrete Trial Teaching, or DTT, is a structured way to teach skills by breaking learning into small, manageable steps. It allows us to provide lots of learning opportunities and, in turn, lots of opportunities for reinforcement. This helps our clients learn new skills quickly. Instructor continues. However, children get distracted easily, so it's important to keep them engaged and motivated during DTT sessions. Every DTT trial has three main parts. Antecedent, the stimulus before the behavior. Example, the BT says, point to your leg. Behavior, how the client responds. Example, the client touches their leg. Consequence, what happens after the response? If correct, Reinforce with praise. Nice, that's your leg, you're so smart. If incorrect, run error correction to help the client learn. Here's the breakdown of a successful DTT trial. Get the client's attention and motivation. Give the instruction with a prompt if using most to least prompting. Wait three seconds for the client to respond. If correct, provide immediate and enthusiastic praise reinforcement. If incorrect, Use error correction to teach the right response. Record data immediately. As Hannah Montana wisely said, everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days. But in DTT, when a mistake happens, we run error correction to help our clients learn. Here's how error correction works. Repeat the instruction and prompt immediately at the same time. When the client responds correctly, repeat the instruction again, but without prompting. Example, antecedent. Point to your leg. Behavior. The client touches their foot. Incorrect. Correction. You say, point to your leg while prompting. Success. The client touches their leg with your help. You repeat, point to your leg without prompting, and they succeed. While error correction is helpful, we also use errorless learning to teach new skills and avoid mistakes altogether. With errorless learning, we prompt immediately to ensure success and then gradually fade the prompt over time. Some prompts can be faded after every trial, while others might take a few trials or even a day. Your clinical team will provide guidance on this. Here are some additional tips to make DTT sessions successful. Keep a quick pace to hold the client's attention. Don't repeat instructions over and over. If you say it a second time, always prompt. Vary instructions to keep it fun. Mix in easy tasks and harder ones. Example sequence. Imitate an action. Label a toy. Follow an instruction. Request a toy. Give extra praise for harder skills to keep the client motivated. Discrete trial teaching is a powerful way to teach new skills and help our clients succeed. By breaking tasks into smaller steps, reinforcing correct responses, and using tools like error correction and errorless learning, we can create a positive and effective learning environment. Thank you for completing Module 17 and keep up the great work.